Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for tuning back in for part two. We have some unfinished business. So in this episode, uh, this is part two of a stack of eBay um, packages that I received. Um, I'll be adding to, to my sports card collections. Um, I think mostly baseball. So I, although I did get some uh, some basketball in the last last packages that I opened, but uh, let's get started. I'm, I'm I want to see what it, what uh, what showed up. So this one, I'm fairly certain this, if my memory serves me correctly, this should be a Shohei Otani rookie. Okay. And yes, it is. This one is really centered really well, it looks like. At least just first glance. Corners look really good. Edges look really good. I'll need to take it out later and uh, take a look at the surface, but from just from initial inspection, this thing looks really, really good. This might need to go off and get graded. Very nice. Okay, moving on. This is a thick package. Let's open this one last because there's, it feels like there's gonna be a lot of cards in there. This one's a little on the thicker side too, but not as thick, so. Let's see what we got. Okay, so it's not a huge, just the packaging that made it. Okay. So let's see what we've got inside. Oh, another one. Another Otani. Just like the last one. This one looks like it's in really good shape too. Looks like it's centered really well. Maybe a hair centered down. And maybe a hair off center on this left side compared to the right side. <clears throat> But this one should be good enough to go for grading, too. Now, if you uh, if you paid attention or if you watched any previous videos, I did uh, say that I have decided to use CSG as a grader. I uh, opened an account, but I have yet to send off my first batch. So... I'll need to go through my cards, figure out which ones I want to send. I'll probably only send maybe 10 or 15 on uh, my first batch just to just to see what it's all about because I've never had cards graded before. But I don't think CFG is going anywhere. Their uh, the whole company is pretty entrenched in grading. Maybe not sports cards, but they are entrenched in grading comic books and coins and paper money. And let's see what I've got in here. This um, is strange. Okay. All right. So. Take a look. I have a Xander Bogert's rookie. This is from the Topps Museum Collection. Okay, wow, I didn't realize this is a uh, thicker card. That's pretty nice. This is Bowman? It's got a B on the bottom. Oh, that's for Boston. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. This is the uh, Fernando Tatis I was waiting on. That's pretty cool. Tops Gallery rookie card. So this is the same um, 
same set I believe as the uh, Shohei Otani's. That's a really nice looking card. Oh yeah, <clears throat> and then I got this. Uh, it's kind of an odd ball card. It's a LeBron James, um, upper deck, World of Sports, and this is him from his St. Vincent St. Mary days <clears throat> in high school. This was made in 2011, so about 10 years ago. I think he's, what, 19 years in the league now? And then, oh yeah, so these are some Steph Curry cards that, I, mean, I know they're not worth anything, if you know, but uh, I thought they were pretty cool. These were made in 2016. He's obviously been in the league much longer than that, but I thought it was just pretty cool. So I grabbed those. They weren't very expensive. I think I paid maybe a dollar. And then these uh, Michael Jordan cards. I'll have to look into these. <clears throat> I don't. I don't remember paying very much for these uh, Jordan cards. Maybe like four or five bucks for the set. I'll be taking a deeper dive on these off camera. This one's got for sure some corner issues. Which uh, I kind of it kind of looked like in the photos, the eBay photos. And these didn't look like they were in pristine shape. So I wasn't really expecting them to be. But I figured, you know what? It's got MJ on it. Never know when his stuff's gonna skyrocket. If this ever skyrockets. Maybe, maybe not. We got a Drexler versus Jordan. And again, some corner issues here. And down here. And it seems like two of these corners got issues on this card. Rare air. And this last card here. Man. I wish that the seller would have put these at least in a penny saver. We understand if they weren't in the best shape to begin with, but shipping them just loose like that is kind of disappointing. But uh, that's it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So that's it for my uh, eBay adventures. Um, yeah, thanks for, for coming back and for sharing sharing some time with me. So I'll process these, get these added into my collection some way or another, and uh, come back and we'll open some more stuff. So until then, take care.